Hello guys, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on Shape Dynamics in Photoshop Brush. So for that, I need to first pick the brush here. I'm pressing B on the keyboard and then accessing the brush. And I would like to open the brushes palette, which I can access from here. Or I can go to Windows and then we have brush. Or I can press F5 in the keyboard to access the brush palette here. So whatever the tip you have selected, after that, if you go to the shape dynamics, you get specific control over the way the brush reacts. So right now I have selected a brush which is having a tip of roundness. So uh, I would like to first explain about the size jitter here. For that, let me change the tip to the leaf which is there defaultly here and also give me give it a color so that you could able to see the brush okay so if I start clicking this brush every time you get the same size brush if I just click and drag this is what you get in general based on the spacing okay so if you increase the spacing then the spacing would be far like that so you should be able to see all that strokes are of same size now what is that i need to do is go to the shape dynamics and we have this option called size jitter change of randomness so jitter can be called randomness so i'm increasing the size jitter okay so when i just click and drag you should get the leaves which are of different sizes okay so right now it is 100 percent jittering and the brush minimum diameter is zero what that actually does is it gives a variation okay let's say if i put this to 75 percent i get the leaves uh, randomized size but the thing is uh, i'm getting uh, from 75 or 50 to 100 size okay so it's not going to zero completely when i set that diameter to zero like if you see one brush is too small let me click 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 and you should be able to see this brush all the way went to a very small size and if you don't like this much of a small size uh, you can put it to 50 percent so your brush is let's say um, a 500 pixel brush so the least size it can go is 250 okay so it gives a random size but the it's not starting from zero that's how this minimum diameter works so if even you can do 50% uh, jitter which again does the same thing um, it generally affects the randomness only up to certain extent it doesn't go uh, full extent of that uh, jitteriness okay so if i just say 10% uh, slight variation can be seen in the strokes in terms of size is concerned so that is uh, the size jitter or ra size randomness so here we have different options uh, we have off uh, for the control then we have fade option so what is fade i'm going to choose a different okay uh, tip so that i could able to see what's happening there and also uh, increase the spacing so that i get a clean stroke i'll not use shape dynamics and draw a stroke li like that i'm using the mouse okay just like that and I don't see any effect uh, in the brush there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this option to fade and I've set the um, value to 25 so let me put it to fade now you should be able to see when I'm clicking and dragging I'm not getting the stroke all the way this length and uh, it, it gives a nice drop shape superb now if I generally increase this to 50 now you should able to see a longer drop effect so the stroke is getting faded by 50 pixels so if I put it to 150 then I get a longer stroke then 500 then I get a very long stroke which is basically fading off so if I put uh, to 150 and reduce the brush size then you should get that nice uh, drops raindrop effect a water dripping effect like that so it's fading off after 50 pixels and the higher the number the longer the stroke is so that is fade option then we have pen pressure 
okay which is basically um, like using your pen tablet okay so I'm, I'm using the brush and I'm using the graphic pen tablet here so I'm just clicking and dragging there and I should be able to see the stroke is somewhere becoming thick uh, sorry thin then thick and then it's becoming thin and fading off because I'm just uh, using this pen the harder I press the thicker the stroke I'm getting there very useful when it uh, comes to painting uh, realistic so it gives you enough uh, of a you know feel of as if you're using a real sketch pen and it's responding how hard you're pressing your pen tablet so your hardware device is re really required I mean your mouse does not work uh, you need to use pen tablet there so you're controlling the size of the brush using uh, graphic pen tablet with pen pressure option okay now if you just go down there are three other th features which are pen tilt and stylus wheel and again this work for different hardwares uh, the, 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 the hardware requirements are different for this particular feature again when you choose that it works for that particular device what you are using okay so the whole idea is to control the thickness while you are painting it that's the whole idea of this okay so when you are going for the tilt the tilt feature will be on so the more uh, tilt you do at the uh, more size it becomes okay that's how it works so uh, we have angle jitter which is basically randomizing the angle so I'm going to choose the tip here and then uh, orientation purpose I'm going to change the brush type to arrow here so that I can clearly see what's really happening there so I've taken this arrow and when I'm just clicking it several times I'm getting the arrow facing uh, in the same direction so I go to the angle jitter and increase it so whenever I click this the arrow keeps changing its orientation okay it's randomly throwing the orientation there okay so what happens if I uh, quickly drag that stroke it gives this effect so that's angle jitter for you again roundness uh, uh, sorry and uh, if I just go to the control you have different options here you got fade option and it is set to 25 I'll put it to 100 and then and just click and drag it and you should be able to see I'm getting complete 360 orientation and it's switching off that orientation after that pixels so I'll uh, increase the spacing so that you can clearly see it okay so I'll go to shape dynamics and then fade it to 50 and then change the brush size so you should be able to see that gradual orientation happening and then it switches off after a certain time so let me drag it like that okay so you have a pen pressure which is basically again the the way you press the pen tablet the orientation becomes more I mean I'm pressing hard it's facing the same if I'm pressing light and uh, then hard then light then hard it's giving that orientation change based on the amount of pressure you're putting onto that device and uh, we have uh, initial direction okay initial direction uh, is like okay the other features are again it depends on your hardware device you should take a compatible hardware device for that and then the control of that uh, orientation can be achieved so right now I'm just I'm just uh, painting this uh, stroke and you should be able to see all arrows are facing in the same direction and this initial uh, direction feature what you're seeing is like if I click and drag up the arrows are facing that side if I click and drag this side it, it faces that side okay um, this feature does not work for uh, something uh, more complex shapes for example uh, if initially I go up and then take a different turn all uh, arrows are saying seeing the same side let's say 
I, I initial stroke is on the right side and then if I go up it's not changing the orientation that's one problem like if I click and I should go in the same direction okay if I change the direction it doesn't work start with up and then go uh, left or right it's not changing the direction that's one one big problem with this but it's suitable uh, for something like that okay uh, let me change this to direction this is something really cool so okay, i just click and drag the way i'm rotating it the arrow is facing that side okay i should be able to see i got this stroke and uh, i'm not getting the stitching effect here i choose the direction you could be able to see that taking the turn of that so if you have uh, let's say you want to stitch something and you want that to follow a, a specific path then what you need to do is let me take a new layer okay i'm taking the path tool and then i'll just choose it to six sides and then okay now um, i'll take the pen okay pen tool right click and then stroke path then make sure that you have chosen the brush and then say okay now you got the path here i'm going to scale that path okay control enter fill it and then then you should able to see that uh, stitches on that okay so you want that stitching effect uh, for any garments or any stylized text then you can always use this uh, orientation thing okay so i'll come back to the brush again so you got uh, roundness jitter okay so i'll go to the tip and then we i'll take the normal brush okay and then I click and drag you get all that brushes of same roundness okay so if you go to the shape dynamics and then choose this uh, roundness jitter so every time I click the brush gives you a different roundness and then it gives you a very organic blobby stroke okay like that maybe it looks like a nice welding um, metal welding pattern okay so that's roundness jitter and then you have roundness to be controlled with the same devices here and then you got flip x and flip y then you got brush projection so what that actually does is i'll take uh, a grass blade okay every time i click i get the same stroke but when i say flip x so every time i click you get a flipped stroke okay it randomizes again it's not very uniform maybe i can choose a different tip here let's choose that you should be able to see sometimes it's arrow is facing left sometimes it's facing right right so you are randomizing that flipping of the brush stroke and then you got uh, flip y which is vertical flipping arrow doesn't show that vertical flip here maybe i'll take a tree so click it click it so you see i'm getting a randomized uh, flip sometimes the tree is facing up and sometimes it's facing down so that's the flip for you brush projection again works for the tilt feature so it again affects the orientation as per the tilt of the brush is happening so it is again compatible device is required for that so apart from that this is what the shape dynamics is about